Hello, my loves. Your favorite fabulous fairy, Shana, here, and I am here to show you this awesome new deck. This is David Bowie Labyrinth Tarot deck, and I got this as a gift for my good friend, Megan. Um, I was really, really excited to get it. I didn't know she was going to get it for me. I had literally seen it on Instagram the week before and been like, man, I really need to get that. And the next thing I know, she says she has it for me, and I was just over the moon about it. It's so cute. The whole box is so cute. Pardon me if I, my angles are kind of off. I'm trying a new camera setup, so I've got one of those little tripod things holding it. I'm doing my best, you guys. I'm doing my best. Okay, so this is it, and I was just going to go ahead and go over it with you. If you guys are fans of the Labyrinth or fans of new uh, decks, this is... Oh my god, this is amazing. And actually, because I have this new deck, I'm going to be doing until um, until the 31st, I'm going to be giving a discount on if you want a reading with this particular deck. So normally, my seven card readings are $111, and until the end of uh, January, until the 31st of January this year, 2022, um, I'm going to be giving full seven card readings, whether they're t Twin Flame or Personal, for $60 instead of the 111 and that is going to be changing to the normal price as soon as we're over with um with January so get it while you can and there we go so ta -da! Ha, 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 ha. so we will look at the book after a while because I don't want to spoil anything because I, I know that it's got some cool pictures and stuff First of all, let's check out this. I love that it's the door that those guys stand in front of. <gasps> what? It's a Toby box. Who's excited about the Toby box, you guys? I know I am so pumped for this. This is amazing. I love the detail. I love the fact that they decorated the inside of the box. It's not just one color. It's not just plain. It really makes you feel like you're a part of the movie, like you've got some memorabilia from it. So I'm just so excited about that. So all the backs are normal. And we're just gonna flip this over. And this time we are starting with the King of Feathers. And I say this time because if you were on my Instagram, I have another, I did this already on Instagram, but I didn't save. So now we're doing this all for you guys here on YouTube. So appreciate my hard work, damn it. Okay, all right, so we're gonna start with the King of Feathers. I love the owl. This is the opening scene to the movie. It's the opening scene to the box. I'm with it. So instead of having the normal uh, cups, wands, swords, things like that, um, pentacles, we have junk <laughs> is one of the suits. How cute is that? We have feathers as one of the suit. We have sticks or poles or staffs. I forget what they call it. I think they call it poles but we've got sticks and poles and crutch. How cute. Come on now. Yeah. They get all stuck together because they're brand new still. There's the feathers again. Oops. And we have, here's the ace of junk. The page of junk. You almost can't see the person in that, huh? Cute little eyeballs on everything. Some more junk for us. The star. Someone's been in my room again. The world. I really enjoy how the characters on this are truly the characters from the movie too. These aren't made up faces. These are faces that I've seen in the movie in my whole life. The fool. Which she is even though she's my favorite. The King of Poles, isn't he cute? And he's even got his lizard. The details in this, whoever was the illustrator on this, I'll look it up at the end. Uh, they, kudos guy, this, or woman, whoever, person. You guys did a good job. Temperance. I love these knockers. I want these knockers. When I have my own house one day, I will have a door that has these knockers, so be it. All the different clubs. I really enjoy that they took the time to make everything unique. They didn't, you know, it's not the same image over and over and over. <sighs> Good lord, I cannot get these undone. Um, it, they really take a time to, oh, you know, we're going to make a cute club for this. 
the Wheel of Fortune. I love this. These little guys use the the bricks and they flip them around. He's like, oh, what an awful place this is. Someone's been changing my marks. You know, I said that a little bit out of out of order, but it's okay. Okay, so these hands, this justice, to me, this is very fitting. We as people choose our own heaven and hell. We truly do. We, we choose if we are allowing the things around us to affect us on the level that it's going to make us feel sad, bring us down, or is it going to lift us up? Sarah chooses to go down. Well, I guess since I'm pointed this way, I'll go down. She chose down. She chose down. It's like we choose down on our own, you know. Um, so this being the justice and us kind of being in control of our own justice and how we feel. I, I don't know. It's just what I get for this card, and I, I really love this. Some more little sticks. The Magician. And how perfect is that? Of course, he's the Magician. And again, those are faces that we know and love, right? The High Priestess. I'm kind of surprised they didn't make the High Priestess Sarah, to be completely honest, because even though she's the fool, she's also, I don't know, she kind of makes her own magic at the end, doesn't she? I mean, you have no power over me. That's through dangers untold and hardships unnumbered. I fought my way here to the castle beyond the God of Slindy to bring back the child which you have stolen. For my will is as strong as yours, and my kingdom is great. You have no power over me. So, I don't know. I feel like she's a magician. Anyways, the sun. Toby's the sun. And, of course, because, you know, everything revolves around this little dude. The empress. I never liked her. I never liked her from the moment I ever met her. I didn't meet her. But, you know what I mean? From the moment I ever saw her on the video, I did not like her. Um, she looked like a money grubber. She looked like she didn't care about nobody. They did a really good job making her eyes look really vacant and gaunt and just not giving a shit like she's on a bunch of Prozac. Perfect. Perfect. We have got the Knight of Poles. I always loved this little character. I always thought it was so cute. Yay! Little judgment guys. Oh, shit. I don't know. I think if you uh, if you did enough thinking about it, you might be able to know what door to go through. The Page of Poles. I love this little character. This is a little dude who was biting on Ludo, and then it bites him. So, ow! Ooh, my icky little tootsie. And then this guy's the hermit. I love this hermit dude. Uh, oh, it's so stimulating being your head. Will you be quiet? You know, it's like perfect. Perfect little hermit guy. But, I mean, he's not completely alone because his head is alive. Okay. The Emperor. Not giving him much of a hoot about much. Except the sun. We've got Hoggle holding a little fairy here. Ready to take another one out. I love it. The Dancers. This is going to be the Lovers. My husband and I did our entire wedding based off of this ballroom scene. The fireies, known as the demons, on here. Which I guess the demon would be the death. Because there is no death. So possibly this would be their death. The chariot. We've got Legitimus. Ambrosia. And the hangman, Ludo. This is perfect. He was the hangman anyway. So the fact that they made him the hangman for this is just absolutely perfect. I love it. The Ace of Poles. Poles, then, so not canes or sticks. Go. Some wheels. Some junk. Some pots. King of Pots. Page of Feathers. Some more beautiful feathers. I love how pretty the feathers are. I love that it's not just one color. Ace of Pots. The Knight of Feathers. I love this little dude. He's inside of that guy that says, uh, who goes a bunch of times. And he's like, ah, and then this thing catches on fire, kind of, and smoke starts happening, and he has to abandon ship. Oh, this guy right here. Who goes? Queen of Feathers. One of those little fairies. Queen of Poles. 
The king of junk! I love the little worm! If she had kept on going down that way, she would have gone straight to that castle. No, that was a horrible, horrible impersonation of him. Sorry, worm. Please forgive me. But isn't he cute? I love him. I'm so glad that they incorporated literally all of our favorite characters into it. And if you're watching this, you're a fan. Or you're not watching this. You're going to scroll on by unless you're a fan, so. Well, this is not junk. Yes, it is. One of my favorite scenes. I related fully to this woman and feeling like my life felt like this sometimes. And I also related to Sarah. It's like, why am I taking care of all this junk? It's just junk. I love the little bent fork. How cute. I don't know why these make me want to have a good stew or a pot roast so bad, but they, they're actively doing it. It's good stew would do me good. Love how cute they are. The thrice of pots. Fate. Nothing. 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 Tra la la. I'm so sorry. My bad, you guys. If you're still here, God bless you because you're being subjugated to my horrible impersonations. This, how cute is that? Okay, I, I do not remember that guy, but I'll, I'll give him a pass because that's adorable. And maybe it's there or not. I don't know. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, I just fired you. So this little dude, I actually want like a life-size little handheld creature. I might end up making one of these because I want one so bad. How cute. That's the guy who fired him. Hey, I just fired you. Ow, 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 ow. And this has been your rendition of um, The Labyrinth Told You by Shana Dixon. Ray. Alright, alright, alright. Cool. Come on now. All I've eaten today is cookies. Sorry, I'm kind of shaky. The tower. The castle, obviously. Beyond the Goblin City. The moon. Beautiful moon. With the worm in it. Some crutches. And we're ending on a feather. So that was that. Let me take you through the book real quick. So we've got the little dude on the back, the little door knocker. This is going to be a full colored book. It gives you a forward and an introduction. And it tells you a little bit about the characters. And it tells you a little bit about the suits and what the suits are going to be. So instead of pinnacles, swords, and cups, this thing is going to be junk, feathers, pots, and, um, feathers? Oh, and poles, pardon. Poles, junk, feathers, and pots. Then it goes through the different decks. And these are full color, full page explanations, the positive and the reverse. And then it goes into the minor, and it's still got color, even though it's just a smaller picture. So they really took their time with this book and making it feel legitimate and uh, really well put together. And then it has some cute little options for different kinds of readings in the back. I normally do a seven card. Sometimes I do a three. My three card's more like a past, present, future situation. Their three card is called the Masquerade, the Goblin, and the Wisdom. And so what this is supposed to do is tell you about there's something going on that's more than what it appears. Sometimes things aren't always what they seem. So this is going to tell you what you think it looks like, what's really going on, and what you can do about it. Then we've got this one, and uh, this one has you know, blah, blah, blah. you have no power over me. So it's the castle and the labyrinth your strength in getting through the labyrinth. So that's a pretty cool little spread. This is the door knockers conundrum. Door number one, door number two, what's behind door number one, what's behind door number two, and a word of advice about that situation. So basically laying out your options for you and saying, if I were you, I would do this or that because this is what's gonna happen if you choose this one, this is what's gonna happen if you choose that one. And then it's got a little bit about the author and a little bit about the illustrator. Some guy named Thomas Hijo. Born in Spain. He is a really great... God bless you, Thomas, because you did it amazing. And the offer... Offer? Huh, the offer? The author is Minerva. Wow, that's really cool. Minerva Siegel. All right, so that is that. 
Um, like I said, normally my readings for a full seven spread is $111. And I will be giving this particular um, cards a little bit of a break and a discount since they're new. And you can get a full seven spread for $60 only until February, oh, only until, sorry, not February, until January 31st. And then that deal is over. All right. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for being here with me. Talk to you later. Bye.